Okay, in this video, we're going to show you how you alter your pinch point. Um, say, for instance, you have programmed a part with a certain thickness material, and uh, for some reason, your batch is thinner, and your program's already done. Okay, um, what you can do is alter the pinch point to address this, and uh, you could be on your merry way. Um, so it's a handy feature to know how to use. Uh, another good reason to have your pinch point dialed in perfectly um, is when you have a back edge retract. The back edge retract re relies on the pinch point to hold the material in place while the back edge moves out of the way, and then um, then it'll you know continue doing its thing. But if you got a loose pinch point, the back edge retract will pull back. The back edge will pull back and you might slip and you won't gauge properly. So having a tight um, pinch point is crucial. Okay, um, If your pinch point's off, also your, your accuracy could be affected because our penetration depth, the depth which the ram goes down to achieve an angle, is based off the pinch point. So, um, so many reasons to adjust your pinch point if it's off. Okay, so if you have this situation, okay, say you're all programmed up, say this is an EC profiler program and your pinch point's loose, what you can do is come to, you know, tab number four, okay, this is where we alter our steps in our program, and um, you could go right to here, okay, this is the penetration depth, the depth in which the RAM will move to achieve a certain angle, okay. Um, if you just click on this button here only, you'll get this input window, which is not what we want to do. Okay. What we want to do is click this green arrow right here. Okay. When I click this green arrow, it expands this window to give me some alternative inputs for this penetration depth. Okay. You can uh, alter your Y1 or Y2, say if you need to angle the RAM a little bit. Um, bend speed or now this is a delay this is you know how long it'll stay in the bend before it retracts and this is bend speed but this guy this is our pinch point okay right now it's set to zero meaning no this hasn't been altered but if I click on this guy I'll have this input it says input MCP correction okay um, what they call this is a clamping point CP um, is a clamping point we call it pinch point okay so what you can do here is you can put in a value that sh you want to tighten up whether it's if, if I got to make the material thinner I give it a negative value if I want it thicker I give it a positive value um, so let's say it's 20 thousand thinner than normal okay so I'll just put in a minus 0 0.02 and hit OK and that's gonna tighten up my pinch point by 20 thousandths okay now, this is based on steps, okay? So you can see I just went to step two, and that one doesn't have uh, alteration. So you would have to go through each step and alter that, okay? Um, so that's one way to alter your pinch point, okay? So let's close this. There's an, another way you can do this. Uh, like I showed you here, this is, this is altering individual steps the pinch point but say if you want to alter all of them and you only do it want to do it this once maybe this is the one-off part that happens to be the wrong thickness for some reason and you want to change it temporarily okay so oh man fuck okay so there is another way of doing your correction to the pinch point uh, if you don't like this method that we had here okay what we can do is the other method is access through the run screen and on this desktop software that I'm using I can't go to there because I'm not on a machine so I've got a few screen grabs that will show you what I'm talking about and um, so when you go to your run screen, that icon with the running people on it, and it's also got a five on it. So when you're on that screen, towards the bottom here, you'll see all these icons. And the one in particular is going to be right next to the protractor. You know, here's the protractor. This one right here. 
This is called temporary corrections. Okay, that one will open up this window here, and it's a bunch of different temporary corrections that you can do to this program. Okay, now mind you, these corrections will affect all steps. Okay, so be mindful of that. Also, these temporary corrections will not be saved to the program. The other method that I showed you would save them to the program, but this one will not. So as soon as the program's done and you run something else, all those corrections will be thrown out and we're back to basics. So this works good if you're just doing it once out of the blue because you have part that's slightly thinner than you expected. Okay, you don't have to reprogram everything, you just come to this window. And it works very much like um, the past one, the, uh, the one that I showed you previously, it's the same icon here. It's temporary correct clamping point or pinch point like we like to call it. So this same button, you would click on that and you would add your correction to there. And, uh, and you would run it like, just like the other one did. Just this is temporary, okay? There's a bu bunch of other corrections in this window that you could use. Um, you know, you could uh, temporarily correct the penetration depth, okay? The speed of it. Um, there's a temporary correction of the Y1 axis or the Y2. Okay, lots of handy things. It could be the X axis, the delta X, the R axis height, Z1, Z2 fingers, all of these. Uh, you can put a bunch of corrections in here, but it's only temporary. So, another good way to handle that. And um, so, that covers this video on adjusting your pinch point. All right, good luck. Thanks.